and welcome to the Marine Channel. We're down here at the Palmer Boat Show and I'm about to show you the flagship of the Pearl Range. This is the Pearl 95. Now, if you are familiar with our channel, we've done a walkthrough on the 62 and the 72, both of which are nestled next to this beautiful 95. But now we're gonna go and have a look at the big boy. And I say the big boy because you think the 62 and the 72 are impressive. This is another league. So we've got a massive high-low platform at the back here, but there's more, much more to come as we step on board. So first of all, our aft cockpit area here, seating for, must be a dozen people I would say. And then you've got this lovely bar area here. Underneath there is fridge, ice maker, chiller cabinet, and then of course the sink on top there, all the stuff you could possibly need and all of it protected by this lovely hard top with the glazed areas to keep the light flooding through. Just down here there's the option which this boat has got of your, oh, lift it up, there we go, of your uh, controls for docking, nice thing to have, pop that back down. And just everything on this boat is to another level in terms of scale. So it's a 95, but interestingly, it's sub 24 meters. And that's important in terms of legislation and insurance and who can drive it and all that kind of good stuff. But the boat is built to what they call arena specification. Arena specification means basically commercial levels. And I'm gonna to go to this cabinet here because this kind of explains what they mean. So, as standard on this boat, you've got all these extra additional safety systems and controls that you wouldn't ordinarily have to have on a boat, but you would if it's for commercial use or for charter. This boat comes as standard with that already certified. So that's kind of an important thing. And it just gives you the reassurance that this boat is engineered to an amazing level. Now, I'm gonna show you this. The door is open through to the lounge, but there is a little button here, which I'm gonna press just to show you what happens. <laughs> How cool is that? Mirror glass doors. There I am, I don't want me in the reflection. Press the button again and we'll go back inside and have a look at this amazing interior. So Kelly Hoppen is the designer of the interiors on all Pearl boats. And what Pearl do is they offer a, a range of interiors. This is what they call the luxury scheme. So we've got the use of sort of dark wood and this also is beautiful kind of marble inlay with the sort of stainless steel or chrome that runs up there. It's just a thing of absolute beauty, isn't it? You'll notice as well on both sides on the port and the starboard, you've got these great big sliding patio doors, lovely great big stainless steel frames on them. And you can imagine when those are open on both sides, the fresh breeze and the sea air comes flooding in. And there's also this absolutely lovely eight seater dining table. Let's move our way forward. We've got a staircase up and down. We'll go there in a minute. Down is for accommodation. Up is to the pilot house, but I want to show you this. We're going to go into the master cabin. There's a day head here, by the way. So easy access for everybody that's on board. Ordinarily, this door would be shut because we're now going into the owner's private area. Immediately to the left, we've got this huge hanging wardrobe area, kind of walk-in wardrobe, shelving drawers, mirror, and then you have this sort of lobby, which could double up as a kind of workspace there. At the moment, the vanity unit's open. So, you know, jewelry and makeup and all that. But what I like is all these sort of display areas that you have. And you'll see that again downstairs when you move into the lobby. And here we are. Full beam, forward facing, master. And I really like this, um, this particular interior. It's got this sort of dark lacquered wood. It feels very, very, well, very luxurious, very decadent, hence the name, luxury. A couple of low chairs there, somewhere to sit and chat. Just gorgeous, isn't it? And of course, being right at the front, you've got this natural daylight flooding in there. Round to our left-hand side, port side, 
is our ensuite, and it's a biggie. Just pan around there. It's even got a sofa in here. <laughs> there you go. You can sit there. You can talk to your friend uh, while they're having a shower. <laughs> And then around here you can see there's a full-size bathtub with window out. Very, very lovely, isn't it? Very lovely indeed. Okay, but there's a lot to see, so let's crack on. So back out through the master, walking down the starboard side, past our lobby, past our hanging wardrobes, past our day heads. You'll notice here there's a there's side access out to the foredeck, we'll do that in a minute. But for now, let's go downstairs. And there's four further cabins. And it's kind of sided, so they're identical. So what you've got aft is you've got two doubles, two identical doubles. So that one there, and then this one here. So I'll just step into one of them. Good size, nice low bed, big TV, and of course, your own heads with a rainfall shower. Okay, back out to our lobby. And if when we get to the bottom of the stairs, we turn forward, then we'll see here, we've got, again, two sided cabins. Sorry about the lighting, they strobe on these cameras sometimes. There we go, it's settled down a bit now. And these are singles, but they will slide together. So you can make that into a double as well. And then you have, again, a big ensuite, rainfall shower, etc., etc. And that's repeated over here. Cool. So that's four doubles plus the owner accommodation. So that's five, 10 people. We've got some crew accommodation as well, which we'll show you in a moment. So let's hook back up and go up to the raised pilot house. Now what's nice about this, well everything is nice, but it does feel like a real kind of working area. So yes there's some space for guests and owners maybe to sit in, but this is all about the captain, the skipper. So we've got six multifunction display screens here. And we've got bundles of storage. So all those things, as a captain, you want to have access to, you can, because you can put stuff away and focus on the job in hand. And that's not always the case with some of these yachts. But this does feel like a very proper business-like helm position. But of course, when the weather's nice, you might want to come up onto the flybridge and use the helm up here which is equally lovely with a fantastic view down over the bow we'll have a little look at that in a minute but this is a very very fun space to be so on our port side all the essentials of life we've got a wet bar we've got fridges We've got ice makers. We've got a sink in here. And the all important bar to service our guests in this area. Seating for 20, maybe more. Big TV up there, high low TV, obviously that will go out of the way. And then when you look up here, you can see that this hard top has got the retractable the fabric panel and you can probably hear it and you've probably seen it already <laughs> you've even got a jacuzzi and on a day like today when it's about 25 26 degrees and probably 30 in the sun that looks incredibly tempting but i promise i won't strip off and dive in because that would just be too much space here for some uh, freestanding sun loungers Again, another sun pad. What a magnificent view, Ford. Okay, there's more. So down the 
down the steps here from the flybridge. And basically what Pearl do is they use the port side for kind of crew movement and access and the starboard side for owners and guests. So we're going to go down the port side here. And the first thing that we've got is access to our engine room. So let's take a look at that. So through the magic of editing, we are now down in the engine room. And just take a look at that. These are MTU 2400, so 2400 horsepower aside, 5000 horsepower, or the best part of, in combination. So this boat will have a top speed of around 30, 31 knots, depending on load and sea condition. So she will shift, obviously cruising a little bit lower than that. Um, I'm not a mechanical genius, but I can appreciate the engineering in here. You've got your air conditioning systems. You can just see, just see through there, your hydraulics for your rudders and bits and pieces. Wow. And as I say, this, this boat has been built to that higher standard. So in terms of licensing and chartering and legislation, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a whole load of stuff in here that you wouldn't expect to see on a boat of this size ordinarily. Things like battery backup. So you've, you've, you've got batteries there that if the, the main set fail, they kick in. But it is quite a piece of engineering and quite a space. It must be over two meters high in here. It's, it's massive, it's huge, and it's mightily impressive. There you go. So back up at the engine room, and we're now gonna move along the port side a little bit further. Remember this is the big patio doors into the main saloon. Now I could step in here and walk up into our galley area. But the other option you've got is that uh, there's a pocket door here, which shuts across. And then the crew can use this uh, side access door to kind of move around the boat. Big galley. This is something I've never seen before. So we've got an induction hob here, Bora. Very expensive brand. And this is your extractor fan. So as all the gases kind of come off whatever you're cooking, this sucks it down into, uh, I guess, a filter system. And what it means is that you've got no extractor fan, no canopy up there, which keeps it really clean. Down here on the left-hand side, all your ovens, drinks dispenser, microwaves, everything you could possibly need. And of course, even more refrigeration. You can never have too much. Now as we're here, what we'll do is we'll go down this staircase and I'll, I'll show you the crew accommodation. And again, I think what you'll be impressed with is the quality and the fit and the finish and the attention to detail because Kelly Hoppin designed the entire interior and that includes these crew areas. So first of all, on the left-hand side here, we've got captain's cabin. So an oversized single, and then its own private ensuite. Sorry about the strobing on the camera. It's really struggling with some of the LED lights. Out here, we've got a small kind of mess area, somewhere to relax and chill out, and TV on the wall. And then if we move a little further forward, we've got another heads, which is shared by the rest of the crew. So shower, toilet and sink. And then just moving forward here. Again, this is sort of mirrored on our starboard side, twin bunks, big wardrobe, and then port side, same thing again. So we've got space here for five crew. And again, the quality down here is lovely. You can imagine as a crew member, you wouldn't, you wouldn't feel hard done by. Now this is really cool as well. This was pointed out to me earlier. If you have a look behind this panel, this gives you access to a technical area 
where a whole load of the electronics are. So switches, fuses, circuit boards, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like about a dozen DVD players on the side. Look at all these things plumbed in. But beautifully done, very accessible, and literally an area that you can crawl in, should you need to, to make sure that everything uh, is doing what it should. Very impressive, okay. So, one area to finish up with, and that is the bow. So, back out through these double doors, and let's make our way up to the bow of the boat. See up a few steps here because effectively, down to our right now is the master suite. But uh, on top of that, we have this lovely entertaining area. So this is on the roof, if you like, of your master suite. Seating here for about, oh gosh. I don't know why I have to guesstimate every time. I just have to, it's just the way I feel. 10 people, 12 people, these lovely pop-up lights. And then these carbon fibre poles holding up a bimini. Well, there she is. The Pearl 95. One absolutely gorgeous boat. Thank you very much to the team at Pearl for giving us access to this and there are other boats in the range over the last uh, days, weeks and months. It's an absolute pleasure to get on board them. Thank you very much for watching. Give us a comment, give us a like, tell your friends, but most importantly, keep watching our videos. That's why we do them. Thanks very much from everybody here at the Marine Channel, and we'll see you aboard next time. Bye-bye.